Hey everyone, Johnny Man Dan here taking a look at Tesla on a video request looking at the daily and weekly time frames. This is the daily time frame where each candlestick represents one trading day worth of action. Yesterday I glanced at the chart and saw that this close was unable to get over this middle Bollinger Band resistance and that led me to protect, predict a red day today which is exactly what happened. I am not a psychic, it's just the power of charts. Learn them, get motivated and they can help you make better entries and exits and become more profitable in the market. So looking forward the levels we're looking at, this middle Bollinger Band is definitely strong resistance now as it was two days in a row it was unable to close above it. That level is 221.56, so that's some strong resistance going forward. We did see a higher low and a higher high, though not by much. Um, so that's one sign the bulls have going for them, higher lows being formed. Looking at tomorrow, the bulls definitely want to see a close above this middle Bollinger Band. If not, I would predict that this 10-day moving average support is going to be tested. Excuse me, that level is at 211.46, so that is support right now. Um, Tesla definitely has some proving to do. If you're looking for an entry to go long in 2015 and beyond, I would definitely say hold off for now just because there are some strong resistances on the daily and weekly time frame. Not only this middle Bollinger Band, but then you got the strong resistance of the 200-day moving average. The more days you have factored into the moving average, the stronger support or resistance it is, meaning the 200-day the moving average is going to be stronger resistance here than the 50-day moving average would be, just because it's more trading factored into it. So you have all those moving average resistances up here, and then looking at the weekly chart, you can see that right now we're hitting resistance on the 50-week moving average, which is currently 225.16, and then you have the... 8 exponential moving average period resistance is coming down so that could potentially knock the price down as well. Um, so Tesla definitely still has some proving to do. On the weekly time frame if you're going to go long for a longer term period you want to see this 50 week moving average turn into support and like I said that level is 225.16 so keep your eye on that. This is a good candle last week with a nice long leg signaling the bulls bought the dip and it was a potential reversal candle, but until we can get closes above these resistance levels, um, it's not going to mean too much. Looking at the daily chart again, as I pointed out, the middle Bollinger Band is the key. So once those two resistance levels can be turned into support, and if it could clear these middle, these 200-day uh, moving average resistance and 50-day moving average resistance, then I would start looking at potentially um, getting a long position. But until that happens. I would say the, the risk reward definitely favors risk in this instance as there's some potential more downside to come. So that's where I'm looking at now. I will, I will check back in with Tesla in the near future. And I thank you for watching. If you want to give me a subscribe and leave any questions, comments, or requests, I'd be happy to do so. And I hope you have a good holidays and a good night.